fuck. My life on the X list. Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, the Diva X, of course, and it is January 28th, 2010. And today, I want to talk to you guys about a four-letter word. Fuck. And it starts with an F, it ends with a K. Fuck. But not particularly that word, but just cussing in general. But the word fuck is the word that kind of got me um, on a top on this topic because um, let me tell you guys a story. So, fuck. I was driving home with, I actually had to go pick up my little sister from work and um, she was, um, wasn't expecting me. She was expecting my mother anyways, anyway. So she got in the car and she um, got on the phone. She's talking on the phone next to me in the passenger seat. And every single other word was <laughs> Now, I, okay, here, and here's, here's the disclaimer. Dun, 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 disclaimer. I know that I love me some <laughs> okay? I love the word. I use the word very generously as... I do, and those of you who've been to the show, or have, have seen my, um, or have ever talked to me, um, outside of, just have ever had a conversation with me, I use the word. I'm not trying to say let's not use the word. I just think that maybe it is the youth of today. I mean, my sister is 19. Yeah, it's the 19? Yeah. My sister's 19, and so maybe it is the youth of today. Maybe. I don't know. This is just my the way I see it, or my, my kind of findings and my little short research that I've done in the past week um, that this has been in my head. The new generation of children slash young adults aren't really being raised with the same morals and values that, let's say, myself, the older 20-somethings, um, even and, and older, um, have been raised with. I myself, seriously, am not afraid to, but I bite my tongue and I don't use swear words. I, and I even call them swear, you know, when it comes to talking around elders or, and, and I don't mean elders as in old people, I mean elders, anyone that's older than me, um, anyone in a, prof obviously in a professional setting or any, like my mother, my aunts and uncles, like anyone that I should show respect to, I don't drop the F-bomb every chance I get and I definitely don't use it every other word. And I don't, I, I, I've probably have cussed around my mother to this day, probably around four times, okay? And so, you know, that's a lot of years with, uh, you know, and it's really out of respect. And I don't know that the younger people in this world are learning that. Um, but just like, I mean, I don't think they're learning a whole lot of stuff that maybe our generation, I say our generation, but that we've learned because they have no respect for elders. And when it comes to cussing, that is my biggest pet peeve because it's just kind of disrespectful like you know what the thing is too i learned to cuss from my mom my mom is a cusser and i don't hold it against her because i still have the instilled morals and values of when <laughs> when it is appropriate and when it is not appropriate to cuss so you know she's taught me how to do the cussing and she's also taught me how to you know when and where, you know, when it was appropriate. So, you know, it's not, I, I'm not trying to say it was like a double-edged sword because I think that, you know, done strategically, it's, you know, the way I think the way I use it, you know, like, even, okay, so here's another story. So the first time that my family, um, my aunts and uncles, whomever, um, ever came to a show, um, the show you guys know I run, the Exotica show, um, was on the anniversary, our first anniversary show. So, you know, everyone was there. And the first thing, when I called them the next morning, they're like, um, so we like the show, but we're going to make you wash your mouth out with soap because I'm a cusser. And they were like, we didn't even know you knew how to cuss. Like, because I don't cuss around them, that's how shocked and surprised they were. So, you know, I think that if you are someone and that who has morals and or I wouldn't say it's not a, yeah maybe it is a moral issue who has some form of respect for yourself and or no young and no young people who do not who use the f word every other sentence or every other word then teach them something teach them to shut the f up <laughs> see see when I get when I get when it's in my spirit I say it because I need to but and it just flows and it works and it's it flows 
that's when I use the F word. But if it's gonna be like, you know, your mom and then your and then your sister I wanna be there, blah 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 blah. It's a little too much. It's a bit much. I just can't handle it. Like, I just can't. If you know someone who is such a cusser, teach them something because they will be perceived much better as a person with them understanding that is not a word that you need to use every other word. And I made it to, I, today I came to, in my mind, the final decision that I'm going to talk to my sister about it because, and this is not the first time, when I was over there on Monday doing my mother's taxes, her and her boyfriend were sitting there talking just the same. You know what? Stop. You're in the presence of an adult, myself, and my mom was there. So, you know, get it together, bitches. See? Bitches, too. Anyways, the last, or the other situation I want to talk about <laughs> was um, actually uh, manifested from a text message that I was sending my friend. And those of you who follow me on Twitter, um, and also follow my friend um, Ben on Twitter, um, I had diagnosed him with osteoporosis. Because if you do not take care of this vessel, this vehicle that you have on your in your journey here on this earth, then you will pay the consequences. Okay, and sometimes you need to replace parts just like you do on your normal car. And sometimes you need your oil change just like you do on your normal car. And sometimes you need a new gear shift. <laughs> you know, they make everything now for re complete replacements. So, you know, I'm not opposed to any kind of uh, work you need to get done. Um, and I think that more importantly, whatever vessel whatever vehicle you are currently in, take care of it, people. Because you know what? You only get one, and maintaining it costs a lot of money, much like your vehicle. So, you know, I just wanted to... Uh, I, I, I thought it was funny because um, the conversation <laughs> that we had. And more importantly, another tidbit of information that came out of that conversation was, don't try to put old-ass parts in newer models. If you catch my drift. And don't try to put newer models parts in your old ass vehicle. I'm just saying, it normally doesn't work out. And there's a name for that, okay? Yes. So, I just wanted to leave it at that. And, um, have yourself a nice fucking day. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs>